Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning to all CEOs, men and women, bundle heads, and prospective beneficiaries of UAAG grants of Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama and all other grants we have subscribed to in the past in Nigeria. I am Temitokpe Eluyemi Balogun. And I want to appreciate every one of you that you have been praying for me, sending your messages, both on my Telegram, WhatsApp. I want to appreciate every one of you for your support. And I want to thank God Almighty, who is the only source of all what we are doing he has made he has allowed it to be possible for us to go the, uh, to go this way he has been the only one that has been protecting every one of us and we return all the glory to him i just come today to explain briefly because it seems some people don't know the reason for this movement some people don't know the reason for this movement and i know within you you know that we are all victims within you we you know that we are all victims the only one that are not victims are the people among this grand handler that know there is nothing but they they presented it to be truth and they are now collecting our money no matter how much they collected from each and every one of us you know that if they know from the beginning that they they have nothing to offer they are they are the only one that are not victims of what we have been passing through are you even thinking of those that uh, let's even leave those people that have died many of them died in agony many of them died why cry many of them died they died anyhow many might die peacefully they have gone but are you thinking of the living dead those people that are not die they have not died but people will even be praying let them go so that they they can go and rest are you thinking and the reason of this this uh, situation is because of this particular grants that we are talking about I, it amazed me since yesterday because the people that who have been shouting, they have been calling me names. They never see the content of our petition. They thought I have a particular reason to fight UAAG. That was, excuse me, that was their thought. They never think that this fight is to bring out the truth. All right, I came out yesterday that we should now concentrate on the we should now concentrate on the on the other uh, ones. Many people started fighting me again. They started fighting because they felt I am selective. I'm selecting certain people. Am I the only one that gather those names? I am not. I am just a concerned woman. I've just felt we've been cheated. I've just been a victim. For instance, this uh, Elijah in the Agidi issue. How many of the grant community even knew that we were at international airport last year? We even Alaji even gave us clothes. We bought we bought Ankara all over Nigeria. And my people came from Kwara, they came from Ogun, they came from Odo, they came from Oyo. Three grown up men, married men, while after they slept in my in my house, thinking that we will move tomorrow. So there is no need for them to I, I mean four, four grown up men. A elderly man was among them that will say, okay, let them live, uh, use, make use of uh, my rooms, 
so that all of us, including uh, my husband and every one of us, all of us will go to international airport. We are on, we are going to be on our way to Mecca through Alajia in the Agidi program. Our international passport were with them, so we were waiting for them at the the airport so that they distribute and everybody enter plane we will travel nothing was given to us no cogent reason for the for the failed uh, 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 muslim pilgrimages uh, traveling to mecca no and we were just cheated we were just wounded we have spent everything we have we spent a lot of money buying this, buying that. In fact, we bought a lot of things. I became scammers in the face of many that did not know me before because they were part of this program. And they thought we just scammed them because as an organization, they paid little amount of money so that we want, we, 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 if we even told our members that we normally give to, especially in Ogun State. We already asked them to gather because we already bought some food stuffs that from the money we collected so that when we come back from Mecca, we will just eat some areas and distribute the food to them. So we were just waiting to come back from Mecca so that we can give them, buy more and distribute. But unfortunately, we were victims we were many were crying at in, in, uh, at uh, international airport lagos i was very very weak i was very very weak all of you calling me that i, I selected some few people i want you to listen attentively because Ali Haji and Inde Agidi will never tell you he did not know that i have this kind of thing at hand he has been invited about two, three times, which he gave them excuses. But because of this Mecca, he even called the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights uh, representative in Lagos then, that they should give me, they should, they should, they should beg me to, so, to be part of this uh, program, the is a uh, Hajj program, that he will deliver. So as a elderly person, the person he called said, okay, madam, this man said he wants you to, he wants to go to Mecca and he needed your names and your people's name. Let's give him a trial. I said, okay. And because there are, there is, there are, there is one king, one royal father too, that were calling me. And you know, in Yoruba land, we respect our kings. I will never disrespect my king no matter what. If I want to disrespect the king, I wouldn't list it last year. See, the early this year. I know my the, the royal father of my listening to this voice note. And he will justify to he will testify to it that yes, I'm not lying. This thing involved another notable woman in Nigeria that they were calling to beg me that they will deliver that uh, to he the empowerment of uh, Alaji and Inde Agidi will deliver we all know the story of this fake uh, uh, traveling to, to Hajj we know the story some of the people that were at airport that they landed in hospital some of them were, were no, are no more now Yet, Elijah keep on telling us today, tomorrow. That is about Elijah in the Agede. He has sent people across to me that uh, he will deliver this month of July. Fine, it is okay. Nobody is fighting them when they want to deliver. I am not fighting them. And for the remaining people that I mentioned, I don't really understand why you people, you masses, are thinking that we are selecting them. My group, but uh, we were part of Golden Bridge. We traveled. They gathered us. 
that they they even told us the laptop we use cannot some of the laptop we use cannot accept ubuntu but what do they call that uh, thing they, they were giving us they say it cannot accept it so we have to go back home and look for money and buy laptops that was the end of that one golden bridge that was the end nothing no message no story about it again we don't even know where we are going i I want to remind you my people i am not a baby i want to remind you most of the ceo that started this race some of them are no more talking it's not because they are happy i am not talking on their behalf because i didn't consult any one of them but they are all tired some of them cannot even come out to the public and say hi again because some of them went to their churches to preach, to talk about all these grants. Some went to mosque to talk about this grant. Some went to, to market, gather market women and men. And at the end of everything, it became story. So if we are mentioning some names and you didn't hear the name of the people that... Uh, that uh, collected your own money i have started my own i want the truth i am not fighting them please i want everybody to take notes this morning i am not fighting them neither am i calling them thieves neither am i telling them that they scam us you cannot just judge without proof If it is the way the masses are attacking us, if it is the way the masses are embarrassing us up and down, if that is the way we see you gathered, to do the same to the grand handlers, how many are they? When we're talking of real CEOs among us, we can still count up to 5,000, 7,000. So how many are these grand handlers? They are not up to 200. So if truly we now want to fight them back, like the masses are fighting us, we can do it within a day and fight back. But what will be the results? What of if some of them are right, if some of them are not floating fake grants? Let us come together and think deeply. Do not see me as the enemy of your own move of your own uh, where you support never see me as the person that want to pull down your own ogre god forbid bad thing i will not try it but let us work together and find out the truth are you not tired some marriages are no more even the government might not know there is a community, there is a colony, there is an ecosystem called Grant Ecosystem or whatever name you give him. The, the government might not even know something like that exists for the past seven years. And many of Nigerians which they are governing are dying. They might not know. It is glaring now that there is no hidden place for anybody again now that the government is involved either i mentioned name or i did not mention name the story started from somewhere that is where i am coming to this morning the story that ended in uaag now started from somewhere now that the government is in the officially no known about this program let's now think about it will the government allow them to cheat us if there is no grant those that have grants probably they have grants truly but they stuck there is no movement again they can't go forward they can't go backward this thing stands still it is now that we will know and the economy is not friendly. If the government didn't even know there is any money somewhere that can ease the, the, the tension, now they will know. 
they will be glad to share it for us. They will be glad to, to fast track it. Because they too, they need money. They want us to be better. Those that can go back for agriculture, they will be able to have little money to do it. Those that have sold their houses, sold their... I was, I was like, ah, why would somebody sell his own house just because they want to collect uh, this uh, outrageous amount of money they are promising us? But I now discover that most of these people that sold their houses, they have been contacted directly by somebody they respected in the course of that each and every grant they mentioned it's not that maybe these people came out to tell us that uh, when you bring five million naira this is what we are going to give you we want to go so so today so if you give us five million naira, this is what you are going no i cannot see it that there are some people they are using to call these people and these people for victims some of them are living dead you, sh you should learn how to help others. Don't because you did not spend much, then you now say those people should go to hell. No, it's not good. And I want you to know that the only way we, the CEO, can go back to our work, the real work we started, is by knowing the truth of all these grants. You age now, nobody can swap it under the carpet again. We once the result, the reports came out, uh, comes out now. Everybody will know where we are. Then all other grant handlers, even if we did not invite them now, are, we, are the government going to just leave them alone like that? Government can even ask them, okay, where is that your money? Where is the document? Let us help you to fast track it so that you get the money and give to the public it is just simple i am not enemy to anybody before they were shouting that because uh, you, uh, apostle ken is evil that is why i'm present i'm present i'm present they instigated a lot of people against me they even used yoruba to 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 bring me down now we mention another people Yoruba is among them. You started fighting again. What else do you want? What else do you want? You are concerned about the, your, your own self. You are not concerned about people that are lying down on the bed. That are crying for justice on a daily basis. If God wants to use me, you will just have to join me in this race. All we need is the truth. If you are not tired, majority of us are tired already. And the truth is what we needed. Nobody is using me to bring out anybody down. What will I gain from bringing somebody down because I want to rise? What will I gain? I have told you I don't want to talk. The people that know me, I am I'm not the type of person that can bring people down. No. There is no way. We are also mumu. We are mumu. That is the truth. Are we even, I don't know. I don't know what I've come up to that we, we, are, we were not thinking before. We have been used blindly. We have walked like mumu. Risking our life, giving hope that we do not see Koro Koro with our eyes. So we even go to church to go and give glory to God. Now we rose up. We said we are tired. Did you remember what happened during in the Bible? We have seen different ways that the Israelites were tired. And if even the Bible one is, is uh, strange to us, like some people thought it's just a storybook, now let us see what is happening in the world today. The, what is happening in Israel today? 
as God have told Israelite that they are apple of his eyes, Israelite did not stop. They did not go and sit down in their house because God is fighting for them. They are pressing forward, just like we read it in the Bible. They, they are even more stronger now than before. I am talking about Israel. I am not judging and I'm not saying they are okay, they are good, but this is what I read in the Bible. Okay, now go back to what is happening in Nigeria. A community of millions of people that no official statement has come out from any government agency, neither in the, in the paper or any media concerning what we were doing what they made us to be doing nobody government has not sent anybody physically to talk to us in the past and even now and to the glory of god we came out and the uag is now the first one that we made us to know if government is really, really involved. If they are interested, if they are part of this, what we are, what we, we were made to believe, this is the right time for us to know. For those of you calling me, sending me messages, and the uh, power of five uh, is just starting, and uh, we should give him chance. Are we collecting the, are we saying he should disburse today? Are we saying they all should disburse today? If we are to be dragging people to disburse by all means, it will not be power of five. It will be somebody like uh, Golden Bridge, Common Work, and uh, this one who seem grassroots. It will be like them. But we are not dragging them for disbursement. Please take note. We are not dragging anybody for disbursement. We are not even dragging Alagia in the Agide for any empowerment disbursement. We only saw that there are a lot of secret things they are not telling us. I have registered, I have I used to write uh, some some I, I used to be participating in some online registration for requesting for 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 for, for grants. It get to a stage they will it, there are some some website that they will tell you okay you will need to pay some amount of money maybe 49 dollars so that somebody can help you to write the proposal they call it premium this premium that and there are some that you will not pay you will do it by yourself they will be sending you email if you pass you can still go ahead yes we know that there is grants but how do we now know which one is real that is the simple one we are looking for. Nobody should instigate anyone against one another. I have appreciated all the grant handlers. I have prayed for them and I'm still praying for them. But accordingly, we need to bring out those that are real among them. And we are not going to be the one to bring them down out because we don't have that power to do so. So let the government bring those that are real among them. It's not necessary I will be DSF when they want to say it. I am not concerned to be there. If if they if they can visit the the appropriate quarters, but what we will not accept is for them to go there without representative of the masses, because the government need to verify that document that they used to bring all those things to the country all those grants to the country simple as abc let us wait patiently for uaag report from wherever they they sent the cdhr we cannot be fighting we can't be looking for help and still fighting by ourselves but let me tell you i am not an enemy to any of these grant handlers neither i am i trying to bring them down the truth of the matter is that we are tired 
So we needed to know who and who brought grant to this country. If there is grant, the government should be able to tell us. If there is no grant, there is no empowerment. They should be able to verify their documents. Simple. That is exactly what we need. If they verify them and they are okay, eh, we will go back home. We will go back home so that they we will, they will, we will just be waiting for the money to come out. Of course, we will now channel our prayer towards that. And once government know that we all know, we all know there is money, because some people were saying that eh, they will take away the grants and eh, the government will not allow them to give us again. The government will sit on it. How many grants has government sat on that you can come out and say openly? How many grants? Now only them say, them say, them say, we are hearing. Maybe they are even lying to us. We, we have to know now. If truly our government is sitting down on some of the grants they have told us, we will know. I am not fighting any one of them. And you are those of you that are threatening me, you can only kill me once. I can't die twice. Once I'm gone, I'm gone. But within you, you think that you have you have succeeded. No. Because one day, one day, another person will stand up and the struggle will continue. You can only chase me out of my house. You can you can just cut me off, not to be able to go up and down right now as I supposed to be as a Nigerian citizen. Because you have sent out my picture, you have sent out a threat against me, but you you can't stop what I have started. That is the truth. If you kill me today, somebody will rise up tomorrow. Somebody will stand up tomorrow and do the same thing I'm doing. And even if nobody stand up again now, the truth I want you to know is that there is no, there is no way you can hide this one again. Because we are not going to do it uh, within Nigeria and alone. How many people have called me from abroad? They are interested. They want, they too want to know the truth because they subscribed. They put, they, they put down their head and money so that they can come back home. Do you think that no, somebody can just keep quiet and when they don't hear my voice again, then you believe that it's okay? No! Don't let anybody use you against this struggle. Because within you, you will be, you will be, God will be tormenting you. The Spirit of God will be tormenting you because of the people that have the fallen arrow. The victims that are no more and the victims that are in the hospital, their spirits will be tormenting you if you keep gathering together to fight this, this cause. Is there any crime in knowing the truth? When a child is born, the father and mother will give the child name so that they will identify the child as he's growing. Even the identical twins, they have different names. So if we want to identify the truth among these grand handlers, the one that really have grants, why are you why are you afraid? What are you afraid of? There we, we used to say look I'm cool everybody. Do you think I'm afraid? Those people that paid money to me, they called me that they don't want me to talk again. They are they don't they, they are the one that gave me money. I told them, are they thinking of the masses? Because if the mass, if the if if thousands of people did not give me money, millions of people are praying that they want the truth. And that is what we are looking for. If we are able to get the truth of UAG, then let me assure you that government by themselves will get the truth of the remaining grants that they have ever told us in enter this country. Because if they did not get the truth for us, we will not believe the story of those grant handlers that it is the government that starts on it. So if the government did not sit on something and somebody said they sat on it, then are you now saying that the government will keep quiet? Let us reason, let us be focused. And lastly, I'm sorry my message today is very lengthy. 
lastly i want to beg every one of you that are calling me you want to get updates please stop calling me because i will not give any one of you updates come out let us have meeting at cdhr you did not come even when they nominate you you refuse to come because you are afraid if we are afraid you think we go we will go far like this for those that have known the truth before and they kept quiet please that does not mean that you have not done work but we, what we need is not that what we need is for the masses to be relieved stop calling me to to get update to get we are about where are we where are you where do i tell you we are going if you need any updates, join our telegram. Stop calling me. Stop asking me questions. I am not enemy of all those five grand handlers. In fact, I used to call them daddy, mommy, and I will still continue calling them because I would nobody has crucified them. Which update do you need than the one we are sending out? If you are praying for me, pray for me. If you want to fight me, fight me. If you want to see talk more ill about me, please do. I am not the first that you will insult. I'm not the first that you will instigate instigate people against. I'm not the first you will you, you will use you you will molest morally. And I will not be the last. So far there is there's no sanity in the world. But right now, nobody should come. Don't call me again, please. If you know that I'm not fast in what I am doing, kindly stand up and do your own. Nobody is stopping you. And I don't need anybody to come and advise me. Please keep your advice. Keep your advice. We don't need crowd. You are the one that will call me. You will go and record my, my voice notes so that you go and sell it out to them. We know your trick. And that's why you can never see where we are. We, you can never, we never see how far we have gone. I only posted my my picture yesterday so that you know that what the, what you people are saying, you are just disturbing yourself. You are just wasting your time because right now, even the UAAG already sent the, the CDHR an errand to the authority. So why are you still thinking is now uh, it, will, it will die down? Where is it dying down to? Where? Where is it dying down to? The truth will come out. If there is money in UAAG, we will be gladly collecting it. And if they remove my name, if they don't give me that, does, I'm, I'm less concerned about that. I'm living. I'm poor, as you say, but I'm eating. At least I still have family that will give me more food. I still have husband that will feed me. And all other ones that we have done, if there is money there, if they are hungry, they want to remove my name because I come out to talk, to ask for the proof. Let them remove my name. I'm not afraid of come, going back to the square one because I'm, I'm never a lazy woman and I will never be. Don't, don't ask me for update again. Please, nobody should call me for update again. I know the people I talk to directly. I know the people I call. I scrutinize them. All of you calling me why I didn't inform, ask any, do you send me an errand? Then you want to know how far. Why are you so fast to know how far? What is your interest to know how far about this, how far about that? Go and do it by yourself. Please allow me to rest. Let me be focused. All the grand handlers have never been my enemy. I only needed the proof and that is what we are looking for. So if you are tired, if you are not tired, we we are tired. We are tired. God bless you, my people. Please, everybody, join the Telegram. Get updates there. I do not. I, I will not call. Uh, I will not answer anybody's call again. To be telling you, um, I went out yesterday. Uh, uh, you think I'm a baby? You want to know how far? You want to know where we are? Don't deceive yourself. We are not fighting them. Oh. We are not fighting them. And every grant that have entered Nigeria, let it be known to you that I did not, all the names they sent to me, self, is it everything that I did? 
And I'm not the only one in this race. So if I do not do what somebody else among us do, participated. So we just want government to find out the truth for us. God bless you. I'm Temi Tokpa Elu Yemi Balogu. Please, people should allow me to rest because I'm human being like you. You call me, call me, call me, call me, send message, send this, send that. You want to know how far, ah, the, this one, you have not uh, you have not put this one, oh, you only selected few people that you want to fight. Who told you I, I'm the one that selected them? Who told you? Are you not being biased by yourself? You yourself, are you not being biased? Come out, come and talk, you will refuse to come out. Send your proof of paper, you, some of you, you back out. Now you saw that we didn't stop. We have the proof already. You want to be relevant. You want to join us. Please, we don't need crowd. If you think that we are slow, go and face your own and do your own. And allow us to, to be slow, to do it slowly as we know how to do it. Because we are now fight, we are not fighting them. We are only want to we only want to put an end to all the deceits in the grant community. So if anybody have grants. We want to know those that have grant. Those that do not have grant, let the government undo them the way they're supposed to undo them. God bless you all. Thank you once again. And Temi Tokpa Elu Yemi Balogu. We are waiting for the report from the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. And by the grace of God, immediately I get my own. We get our own copy. We address the public. God bless you. <laughs>